Hi guys, I want to do um, reviews. Now, I'm not just going to do reviews on this channel, but I always wanted to do reviews for a long time, so here we go. Today, we're going to review the Cinnamon Roll movie. For those who don't know, Cinnamon Roll is a character owned by Sanro. Sanro is mostly known for Hello Kitty, but they also have made other characters such as Aggressuko. No, I am not kidding. The same people that have made Hello Kitty also made Aggressuko. Really let that sink in for a second. Anyways, the film is weird. Like, Cinema Roll falls out of the sky, and he basically uh, visits this uh, baker girl, and there's this magician called Chowder. Chowder essentially puts a bunch of spells to stop um, Cinnamon Roll, and then, then, then Chowder basically makes a dome monster, then the dome monster and him transport into a nightmarish realm, then they teleport what can only be described as candy land in hell, then, 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 then they, they, they find out that, sh that the dome monster is Chowder's, like, um, I think they're trying to convey that this is, like, Chowder's inner demons or something, I they never fully explain. Then, then Chatter's inner demons get speeded by Simon Roll because he can fly, and all of a sudden, Klaus started appearing, and he's defeated. I have no idea what the heck just happened. Other than the bizarre premise, though, there isn't really much going for the film. Like, the characters tend to blend in together. They do have separate personalities that are established, but they don't really use those different personalities. They essentially treat them as if they're just one big group. Some some of the things when it comes to the story just appear out of nowhere. Like, the end of the movie is essentially a deus ex machina in a sense. The only thing that kept me interested in the film is just that the film is just really, really strange. Like, it's memorizing to how strange this film is. And the animation often reflects that. Now, there are great things about the movie. For example, the animation is pretty nice, and the character designs are pretty okay. But other than that, there isn't really much going for the film, in my opinion. Now, I would recommend this film, but only if you're into weird and obscure kids' media. Other than that, I just really don't see myself going back to this film. I'm going to give Cinnamon Roll an average score of 5 out of 10.